Hi everyone, in this video I will show you what capacitors are and I will also show you how to connect them in our circuit and as you can see they can be dangerous so be careful. Let's start our video. Capacitors. The schematic of a capacitor is like this. And be careful, some capacitors are polarized, be aware of plus anode and minus cathode side. The formulas are like this. C is for capacitance, E for permittivity of dielectric, A for area of plate, D for distance between plates, Q for charge stored, V for voltage, E for energy. Let's connect two capacitors in series. The two capacitance will be calculated like this. But we need to reverse it so the total capacitance is capacitance divided by 2. And in parallel, the total capacitance is 2C. The use cases of capacitance. Smoothing signals, filter, for example, uh, RC circuits. For example, in radius, they use RC circuit. Energy storage, fast charging, but low power storage. It's the difference between capacitor and a battery and AC to DC conversion for example here we have a AC wave form after full bridge rectifier which I did a video about it you can click the link above and look at my diodes video too and with capacitor as you can see we can smooth this wave which means it's a smoothened DC wave so we have two example projects first our capacitor is in parallel and second one we have a capacitor in series at the first stage of our parallel circuit our capacitor is discharged so we charge our capacitor and also LED turns on then in our second stage our capacitor is fully charged that means our capacitor doesn't need current and all the current goes through LED. So our LED turns on. Then at the third stage we are removing our voltage source from the circuit. We had energy storage in our capacitor so our LED turns keep turning on. And at the fourth stage our capacitor is fully discharged, means it has no energy storage anymore. And because of no energy, LED doesn't turn on. Let's look at our series circuit. Our capacitor is again discharged. So we are charging it and our LED also turns on. Because capacitor lets current through. It In the second stage, our capacitor is fully charged which means it blocks the current and our LED doesn't turn on. At the third stage we are removing our voltage source from the circuit because we don't have a closed circuit our LED doesn't turn on it's off at the fourth stage, we are closing our circuit with a wire and our LED turns on. As you see, I close the circuit and because of the energy storage in our capacitor, LED turns on. And at the five, fifth and last stage, our capacitor is discharged, which means there is no energy and our LED the, turns off. So when we open our power supply, LEDs turn on, and when we close it, LED stays a little bit moment to close. Let's look it at slow motion. So I am opening the power supply, and when I close it, you can see here definitely that LED stays on for a while. 
Now I have my capacitor in series. When I turn on, LDs goes on for a while, then it stops because my capacitor is fully charged. When I increase voltage, it doesn't matter, and when I close it, it doesn't turn on as well. Now I am charging my capacitor first. After I charge it, I connect my wires to my circuit, and as you can see, my LED turns on. And let's look at it in a uh, dark environment as you can see I charged it my capacitor first then I close my power supply and LD turns on again and it keeps for a while 